I went ahead and drilled up the holes from the 40 size to the 30 size on the elevator. And now I put these blue rubber bands on the elevator to hold on the hinge because now I need to mark where the hinge goes and start, start drilling it. It needs to have um, 1.45 millimeters. That's this much tolerance between the top of the hinge and the top of here so it'll be streamlined with the airplane. So now I'm trying to keep this level while uh, measuring it out and then marking it and holding it. And I'm going to be using a uh, C-clamp, here it is, uh, to hold it on this side once I have it marked and then slowly go across and uh, try and clamp it better, but the rubber band's just there to kind of hold it while it gets uh, more and more put together. And got the first couple of holes drilled, and now I'm just going to slowly go through and continually drill into it. I still have to put my uh, four holes in this area and four holes here, well three now, so I did one pilot hole just to get it started. I finished drilling the holes up to the proper size and washing it down with the uh, is it acetone, I can't remember what it is, a oh, lacquer thinner. And now I have painted the sides and we'll uh, go ahead and assemble this one after the paint dries. Here it is with the hinge riveted on fully. See all the paint from where did my uh, long-term uh, paint for corrosion protection. And I have these rivets in here as well, and I'm about to pop these rivets in. One of the that's interesting though is how strong this piece is now. When it came as this little floppy piece of aluminum, it just, every time you touched it, it would just fall apart in your hand and move back and forth. It is so strong now once you get these ribs in here. It's kind of incredible to watch it go from flat, flaccid pieces of metal to something that you can trust your life to. It's pretty pretty fun to watch. And now it's completed. The one part I did not rivet yet, or even drill and mark, is this side. Because this is what's going to attach the opposite side uh, for the left elevator. And what I need to do next is semi-permanently attach this elevator onto here. So when I make the other elevator for the opposite side, it will uh, sit right and I can see how much I need to drill in to actually finish this part. And I'll be darned, it actually works. And uh, just trying to slowly push this rod through, there's a bit of friction on it just because uh, each of the hinge is just a tiny bit off, which I think is pretty much the same on every airplane. If you built a Sonics, please let me know uh, in the comments how uh, close your hinge tolerance was trying to, to push it in. But so far, it actually looks pretty gosh darn good. And um, I'm just going to keep slowly working on it and go from there. Thanks for watching.